So in review, wrong songs, wrong room, wrong sound, no set, no light, horrible scripts, no choreography. Strap yourself in. Here's another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz. We'll ask you over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. We're now the number one reviewer for Las Vegas and the UK on Google and YouTube. And today we have a one-star review. I've only ever recorded three one-star reviews in the history of my 15 years is watching shows in Las Vegas. We visited Tenors of Rock tonight at Planet Hollywood. 20 years watching theatre and this show has everything wrong on every single level. Where do I start? Formed of five former musical theatre singers, Tenors of Rock from the UK bring a new sound to popular classic rock and pop. That's crap, right? These Broadway performers, although I'm yet to see any evidence, believe that turning up the volume to the point at which you want to cry and leave will cover hideous screamy vocals and the most laughable stage in Las Vegas. I'm insulted to have seen this show for free. This level of audience contempt leaves me furious. From the second I walked into the Sin City Theatre, it was blatantly obvious that no one cares about anything. The show begins and the five guys try their best. The backing track is impressive and well made, but it's definitely too loud. Deafening, in fact. The guys compete with the track and the track competes with the guys and the guys compete with the track, which results in it feeling like you're being punched in the head. Imagine Il Divo's crescendos if they couldn't sing. The result of putting musical theatre singers in a rock show ends up with a screaming disaster. It's vocally appalling at times. Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world and I could find five friends on Facebook right now who could sing this show better. The sound guy simply must be deaf or seriously ill-advised. Here's the problem, these guys have a background in show tunes and should stick to it. When they sing with control and discipline, during rare moments of ballad, they are clearly talented vocalists. When they sing rock, it's laughably hideous. If I didn't know better, I'd say these guys hate each other and are desperately trying to outsing each other on stage. It's just an ugly sound and visual. I truly can't think of one good thing to say about this show. This has only happened twice in the hundreds of reviews in Sin City. Many of these official photos were not taken at the theatre in which I saw the show tonight. So in review, wrong songs, wrong room, wrong sound, no set, no light, horrible scripts, no choreography. After the third group of people left halfway through, I made my exit with embarrassment past the company manager. I apologise for the show being so bad. Last week I saw Raiding the Rock Vault at Hard Rock. These shows are incomparable. Rock music on track is a problem. The showroom is hideous for this show, but fundamentally the vocals were the disaster. Raiding the Rock Vault had all of those factors perfect. Add to their cast of true rock legends and you've got a wonderful production. The show I saw tonight wouldn't work at weddings in the UK, let alone showrooms or cruise ships. It's an insult to show business. I've never been more embarrassed to be British. We stand on the stage proud every night. We were told tonight they should be ashamed. Next door is Chris Angel, one of the greatest showmen in the world. It's beyond my comprehension why Caesars would allow this on property, let alone charge $50 a ticket. It took us six months to learn Bohemian Rhapsody, they said. I've heard it done better at karaoke. Freddie would be turning in his grave. I wanted to cry. Vegas never ceases to amaze me. This shite and Chris next door. How is that possible? Welcome to Caesars Entertainment. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. I'm going to go and find a short piece of rope. Good night. <laughs>